I want to show you how to schedule a task using cron. Probably the best way is to become the user that you want to run the cron job as and from that user account just run cron tab minus E. This opens a cron editor. You cannot just create a cron file for a user. Uh, it will be copied from a temporary file to its final location. So let's assume that at 2.30 in the afternoon I want to run the uh, logger command writing something to syslog. So how would that work? Well, 2.30, that is minute 30. Hour 2 in military time is 14. And every day of the month, every month and every day of the week. Logger, hello. So that was easy. The only thing I need to do now is wait until it is 2.30. That will be in 8 minutes. So there are some other solutions to run cron jobs as well. A quite important other solution is to use the cron.d directory. In the cron.d directory you can put files with just any name, anything goes, and put the cron command in there. So let's check the sys stat for example. You can see that from this file every 10 minutes on every day of the month, every day of the week as user root we are going to run this as a one command. And every 23 hours 53 minutes on every day we are using this as a two command. So if you prefer putting it in here that's fine as well. That also works. The cron.daily and weekly and monthly and hourly are not a typical location you want to put cron jobs in. Because if you look at the contents of them you can see that they are just shell scripts. Shell scripts that are dropped here from the packages or the post install script that runs from a package. So this is not typically where you put it. Also in cron daily you cannot control the exact time when it runs. It is Anacron taking care of that which makes sure that even if your server is down temporarily the job will still be running every single day. And another way that you should absolutely not use anymore is the etc cron tab file. The etc cron tab file is like a system file that is also managed from RPM packages, so don't touch it. Just put it in the etc cron.d if you want to run it.